Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XIII. I'm the Serious JG. And since I already played through this section of the game and I don't give a crap about making sure to find all the treasures and stuff, this should be the most fun and relaxing stretch of the whole game. Uh, because I don't have to sit here keeping a constant eye on the, uh, strategy guide. That being said, um, if you were using my playthrough to make sure that you find all the adventure, the treasures and stuff, and noting that I made a big deal about missing one back in Act 1, joking around about that, etc. Like, Iron Vankle, no! Uh, I guess, fair warning, if for some reason you're using me as your guide to how to play the game, rather than just, you know, a chance to listen to a guy make goofy jokes as he plays through a story that you might not already be familiar with, uh, fair warning, in this particular act, I'm not guaranteeing that I'm going to get all the items, because I'm not sitting here with my guide open. But, uh, you know, I'll pick up ones that I just happen to come across. At any rate, last time, uh... The, the group who had been my favorite couple in the game, just kind of zany, misma mismatched guys... Now it's all heavy, and uh, I didn't really understand what Vanille's whole issue was the first time I played through the game. Now that I've read through the manual, I see that she, or not the manual, but the, uh, the data log, I understand that she's all guilt, feeling guilty about Dodge. Uh, and I think that kind of comes out later. But it wasn't all that clear to me at this time. Um, although I do like the fact that Zaz goes around being all mopey. Uh, while she's being perky, but once he sees that he's dragging her down, or at least he probably thinks that's what's happening, he tries to cheer things up a bit, so it's kind of not. I mean, Zaz just seems like, you know, in his heart of hearts, he's just a nice guy. So, let's see what else is going on. Let's read about that last scene that ended the last video. Eidolon's on parade. Eidolon's on parade! The Pompa Sancta Parade is a spectacle of light and sound that commemorates the war between Cocoon and Pulse. An embodiment of evil, the Pulse Lassie appears with plans for the total destruction of Cocoon. Hard pressed by a Sanctum Lassie, the lower world servant takes the form of an inferno beast, infernal beast, a shape meant to resemble a monstrous Ragnarok. The final battle ensues and the Pulse Lassie is defeated. It could almost be a foreshadowing of how events may truly unfold. While other onlookers are transported by a dream of the past, Vanille is yanked into the present by a nightmarish vision of the future. The two of the sea hurry away in the direction of Nautilus Park. I'm sure this will all make sense to us in the fullness of time. Saving the levee. Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. Oh! What are you owing at? Are you looking at my nuts? Look at these woolly little things. I just want to squeeze them until they pop. Uh, she's talking about how tiny and cute they are and wondering if she could pet them. So, yeah, I really did think she was talking about my junk for a minute there, folks. I'm speaking of character in Zaz now. That's a cute little piece of dialogue there. Two passengers? Enjoy your ride. Not a lift operation is fully automated. Feel free to take a ride. Should you discover any... Thank you, Sunsu. Guess I could save my game here. If I so desired. Sure, let's keep dreaming on saving on this slot. I'm now at Eidolon's on parade. I have not yet reached. Fiend Lord's Keep. Go to the Nautilus Station. That sounds pretty exciting, doesn't it? Oh no! It's the Dago! I forget what uh, name Grimmeth had for the goofy transport system, and I was like, oh, boy, they apparently just dropped right out of it. Yeah, Sun Tzu's voice reminded me of, um... The end of Romance of the Kingdom 10. Uh, apparently I... 
It's letting me backtrack to a place that has nothing happening in it. Now I'm heading to the festival road. See, there's all sorts of places you'd like to be able to revisit because they have, for example, iron bangles you couldn't get. But at this point in the game, you have to carefully make sure you don't navigate to the wrong area. Not even a... Oh, it pops out of what? How the hell is that supposed to work? I feel like I've become a member of the insane clown posse. Commenting on the wonder. Especially in the middle of the night, when the place is supposed to be closed. Hey, wait, no! They... I thought I boarded the one that the minimap said I needed to go to, but it says Nautilus Park down. So we drop into, like, the, uh, the Stargate there. Oh, okay, we did come out something different, so that's... Yeah, it's coming out of my afro. It's Chocofro. Welcome to Nautilus, the city of dreams. We've been here for a while. Welcome to Nautilus, the city of dreams. Yes, we heard you. We heard you the first time. So, uh... Welcome to Nautilus, the city of dreams. Yeah, yeah, we heard you. You're looking good, by the way. Uh, can you tell me anything about the chocobo here behind you? I'm interested in chocobos. I want to buy one as like a work animal for my farm, or maybe get involved in raising chocobos. Racing them, perhaps. This game has a chocobo racing in the game, right? Alright, well, I have a feeling you're not going to tell me anything useful. I don't know where I'm getting that impression, but, uh... What the hell is this? Oh, I'm terrified. <laughs> Somebody's excited. Yeah. Hey, you could make some new friends. Dodge is crazy about chocobos. <laughs> he really wanted to come. Then his life was ruined by Let's you and Fang. Around. Indeed. And in we go. I hope Neil and I Dodge get to hang out later. She's hearing an awful lot about this kid. I have to assume at some point we get to help Dodge. I mean, the toilet's just like the real thing. The toilet? Oh. How do you know that you saw it at the? Oh. Toys look just like the real thing, except you know the freaking toys. This game is. Only one way to find out: try and ride him and see if we get arrested. I'm right here. I can hear you talking about me. You're staring up the business end of giant chicken. It certainly doesn't fit the uh, the lyrics. Don't fit with the melody at all. I've never had this little chance to think without being interrupted by your inane prattling. 
Says have become a cipher for JG's frustrations with this game and character. Now it's time for a scene because Lord, we haven't had one of those for a while. Yeah. Ooh, the smell. Vanilla, you have like uh, radishes for lunch? Or? Like it does! The wilderness of it hope. is the smell of Space Australia. Hey! Come back here! Let it go, Zaz. Let it go, Zaz. For I have instilled in that chocobo chick the greatness of the swarm. That it may serve as an example. The chocobo chick has taken wing. Find where the fugitive fledgling is hiding. It could not have gone far. Yes. Ready, set, go. Poor Dash learns of this and loses his last message of hope. Where are you hiding? Etchy Goya, where have you hidden? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take a look at my sweetie. We're not counting on Vanille to figure out where this thing is. Matter of fact, I can't. I think you, when you find it, you hit the A button. And I can't really think of any reason not to just go around slapping the A button. For you and me, our song does not fit the melody. K. It was K. Q U E. It's like they wrote a song for some other melody and then just decided to slam it on top of the Chocobo theme. Interesting, but can I pet you and your afro? I mean, sir. What chick doesn't seem to want to hang around with the other chokers. What? Oh, it's in the waterfall. Okay. It obviously doesn't want to be with you, Zaz. If you love something, let it go. Okay, the rhyme scheme here is behind, again. Sun, I think. Go insane. Stake our claim, go insane in a membrane. Look at that. Look at that. That guy's next that chick are really going at it over there in the bushes. Yes. One flew over the chocobo's nest. <laughs> Find you, you can hide from us. So it's something, something, leave your cares behind. 
something something, I don't remember, but it didn't rhyme with behind. I wonder if it rhymes in Japanese, since this is a literal translation. You are not even trying to help me find these fucking chocobo chick, are you? Coming through! <laughs> Grooving out! Just kind of steady, grooving out. Check me out. I can dance if I want to. I can leave your friends behind. Cause the friends can't dance. And if they can't dance, then no, no friends are more. We can dance. We can dance. Everybody. Yeah, forget the rest. Okay. And I only know as much as I do because I'm really old. Forget that the 30 minutes of my life. Listen, kid. Shut your mouth! Oh. Never mind. I misunderstood what you were saying. I thought you were insulting the sheep. I'm sorry. No. Stop the fucking e button. Save the goddamn thing. Ah! Stop looking at the stop pressing buttons. Oh, it must be the customized M16. It's clearly we're in the Bangbacks building from the music. If I ever play Mayfair Conspiracy again, I'll have to start singing. Leave your cares behind. In the Mayfair building. Or the Bangbacks building. Leave your cares behind. Take us around the world and back again. Something, something, something will taste the sun. Yeah, lamb is Australian for beef. Down there, beef is kind of like uh, a little bit of a uh, special occasion when you have beef, whereas in America, it's like the other way around. The more you know, and somebody from Australia will probably contact me and tell me I'm wrong. They eat beef all the time. You know what the fuck ever. I'm just saying that they eat a lot of lamb down there. It's like, now you're done insulting my country, can we move along? Oh, and the, the path has been cleared of these goddamn mutant extra cute sheep. Yeah, Bobo asked me at one point when I mentioned, oh, I recorded some more Final Fantasy 13. He's like, oh, are they still in that damn junkyard? No, now we're in a fucking chocobo pit. Hey. It's Oni. We can see the lines that delineate where the sky ends. Except I think this is by design. Out of the way, bastards. Thank God. Is the music over? I don't have a happy and wonderful fucking Moogle song now. He's the one mind gang. He's the man you can't defy Always when you pick someone. Always good to be among friends. The fun times are doubled, and your worries feel far away. When you're sucking in the stench of a giant equine and bird. Ever seems as scary when you have someone to share it with. I wish I had someone yeah. like that, Zaz. <laughs> He knows what side of the bread is. Bread is put on. Of course. Number one. Make it so. Oh, thank you for that shot of the uh, chicken horse's ads. And now, chicken horse That's makeout right. session. Now, when I see Dodge, I can tell him about the chocobos. Oh, you're welcome. It's totally on me. He's being held by the military. Damn it, I thought we were cheering up. Psycom, you mean? Psycom. Yeah, since he's a cocoon, let's see. They're running tests. They're trying to figure out his focus. He's testing his midichlorian count. I'm 
turning myself in. Huh? I know they execute the sea, but... Hey, the storyline's hey. going somewhere. They're not total monsters. Uh, they'll listen to a final uh, request. They'll have to. Well, they'll listen to it, they won't bring Before it. the end, I want to talk to Dodge one last time. I want to tell him about these chocobos. I want to tell him about everything I've seen. But wait! Sass! Listen! You'd be leaving me on my own, I you want you to worry. I could've gone with You're not part of this. You'll have plenty of time to split before I surrender. <sighs> That's not what I meant! I'm sorry, Well, then, you. what do you mean? <sighs> I'm just... I'm tired of all this running. Man can spend his whole life but running before he realizes he's running from the You sick. can't! Don't call him that. That's not Why a good not word. Huh? It's a lessee because of someone from Pulse. You can't give up without getting revenge. What? I know who it is. I know who's responsible for the accident. The accident at Uriday. Interesting. And how would you... Then tell me! The lessee who ruined your life was... And then she gets shot from off screen. <gasps> oh. Whoa, whoa. Oh wow, she gets shot from off screen. I don't I don't remember that. I skipped past all these cinemas. Soldiers? Where'd they come from? Oh, their mom is, uh, oh. Do this to everybody, it's part of uh, the fun attraction. No left to run. Nowhere to run to baby. Nowhere to hide. Yeah, this, these are not real soldiers. This is part of the entertainment. They, you can pretend you're being hunted by soldiers. They apparently, they do not notice us, even though they just chased us here. No place left to run to, baby. No place left to hide. Tired of playing with no hope inside. Says quietly, says goodnight. He tends to give himself up and begs like on the season. Even if it ends, his... you can't really make that fit the music. But it'll all be worth it if you can see Dodge one more time and tell him about his encounter with the novelist Park Jokovic. Not willing to let Zaz just give up and die, but Neil tries to talk him out of it. Revenge is her best bet. If she reveals the identity of the culprit behind the Uridai your eyed gorge incident that sealed the fate of the both father and son. Maybe Zazzle has something to live for. Yeah, re revenge is great. What is the deal with this game and everyone feeding everyone else dreams of revenge? The corporate course of Vanilla herself, but how to explain as a young woman searches for the right word, sniper bullets bite into the ground around them. I guess the snipers suck. Zaz covers Vanilla as they run for the exit. It's all fine if he gets captured by the army, but he has to help Vanilla escape. He's a nice guy. Story of a nice entry of a nice guy. Valley banishes us. Yeah, well, get used to it, honey. So I'm pretty sure we did miss some items, although I think most of the items that are left to come are in this section where we actually fight guys. Uh, I think we're strong enough to get through the end of Act Battle without leveling up. So I'm going to avoid combat to the best of my ability, but I might not have that much power over it. Uh. Yeah, maybe I'll have lots of power, or maybe not. That thing caught up from behind. Do I have to fight a million enemies now? It looks like I do. I do love this build. giving them to work with, but... 
with all of our buffs applied, we should be in better shape here. Like it doesn't kill me up while I'm being really inefficient with switching paradigms. Jerk, but yeah, I know what you're doing. Sparkstorm? Just died, buddy. Thank you. Hey, she's got a weird irradiated oh, because of the Enthroth spell, probably. Uh, yeah, well, we got uh, five stars out of that, so that's nice. These guys. No, I'm not going to bother to fight them, but I have to. Some of these look. Provost, this here, like this has treasure, I'm not gonna bother. It's not gonna do any good when we load state later. Just trying to zip through this, if you're really interested. Yeah, glad that you're uh, on the same page as me with this. So this is the wrong way to go. Are those guys gonna be waiting for us? Can we sneak by them? Oh, okay, well they're no longer really on the lookout for us. I don't think we can get by them without... Yeah kind of running around everywhere. bother with all the debuffs on this thing this time. I think we got enough to take this thing out without all that, but we'll see. We'll see. Haste makes a pretty big difference. Actually, really big difference. I'm going to go to the corner. Bravery on me. And faith on Neil. Then she can heal us up a little bit and we'll get back to it. Look how much more damage I'm doing there. I'm ready for anything. This thing's not even gonna get days. We'll kill it long before that can happen. Same as last time. Nice to kill before we could do star spark storm. It's actually pretty dangerous for these to do that, or I'm just doing a really crappy job here. Could be a combination of the two. Smooth high. Cool buggy. Yeah. Treasure box again, I don't care. There's a uh, safe thing over here. Well, uh, in all honesty, folks, I've lost track of how long this video is, so I'm going to call it a video here, because I'm pretty sure that big plot stuff happens in the next area. When we come back, uh, unless I'm very much mistaken, big plot stuff. So anyway, I'm Mysterious JG. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time for big plot stuff. Bye bye <laughs>